Hi, Matthew from Factbird here, and today I'm going to be giving a quick demo of our system. So this is just going to be a whistle-stop tour of some of our key functionalities. It's not going to get into everything, but hopefully it just gives you a basic idea of what it is we do. So jumping into the system here, starting with our factory overview page. Here you're going to be able to see all of the lines or machines in your factory and what their status is. So you can configure here what it is that you want to see on this page. But you know, you're going to be able to see the batch progress, the live chart, the OEE, whatever it is you want to see. So that at a glance, you can see how your site is performing. But clicking into one particular line that we're going to want to see in more detail. Here you've got the live chart. So you can see the production flow over a certain period of time. Uh, the speed, when it's gone down, you know, you get this kind of basic information with these base KPIs down here, your units produced, your downtime, your value adding time, so on and so forth, you know, so this is kind of just the initial look at how this line is performing over, in this case, the last eight hours, but you can also look at other time frames, or you could get this data for a particular batch or a particular shift. So let's say I wanted to see how the Thursday day shift is there, click that, there's the data from the Thursday day shift. Next, moving on to registering stops. So this is the page that we like stops to be registered on in our system. So when a stop occurs on the line, this red block will appear. So all of these red blocks are stops. Now, all we need operators to do is find the relevant stop cause. So the stop will register automatically and then they just need to give attribution to it. So let's say this was a, a product jam or material stock. This is product jam register and then that's done. It's registered as a product jam. They don't need to do anything more. We wanna make this as quick and simple for operators as possible so that they can spend their time doing what it is they need to do. Now, all of this downtime data is then fed into an analytics page. So you can analyze over a longer period of time what's happening and where you're losing the most time. So looking here at this Pareto over the past month, you can see how many stops you've been having. This was no activity planned at line. The red stops are technical stops, unplanned stops. The yellow stops are changeovers and cleaning. There's micro stops, unregistered stops, uh, so on and so forth. You know, So you can get this breakdown of where it is all your time is going. But if we look into the technical stops, we can then start to see what's actually costing you the most time and what's happening the most frequently. So on this line, you can see over the past month, a material stock has been the most common stop reason. It happened 20 times and it cost them 888 minutes. And you, know, you can see that this actually happened, the belt snap happened more times, but cost you actually slightly less minutes. So, you know, while it's happening more frequently, the material stock is actually costing you more time. So this has helped you make that data-driven decision-making so you know where you need to focus your time. Similarly, if you click into a belt snap specifically, you can then, you know, scatter plot that and see when exactly it's happening to see if you can notice any trends in when this is happening. So our system also does automatic OEE calculations. So again, looking at the last month here on this line, you get this OEE waterfall breaking down again, where it is that you're losing time and where your effectiveness is going. So, you know, of this 720 hours, you lost 162 for not planning to produce, three hours to meetings, 63 hours to cleaning and changeovers, and then 209 hours for uh, unplanned downtime and technical stops. So of those 491 hours where you're planning to produce, you produce for 283, aka 57.5%. So it's a nice clear breakdown of where it is your time is going. Similarly, we have a trends tab, which you can use to look into longer term trends in your you know, units produced, your downtime, your OE. You can look over a long period of time and see, are you trending upwards or downwards, depending on what it is you want to do for that metric. You can run your batches through the system. Uh, so here we can see which batch is running, which batch is completed, and which batches are upcoming, and get a breakdown of how that batch performs. So what time did you plan to start and plan to stop, and what time did you actually start and actually stop? Similarly, how much did you plan to produce? How much did you actually produce in that batch? Uh, there's a lot more the system can do. This is kind of just an initial whistle-stop tour, but there's and-on functionality, predictive maintenance, organizational hierarchy, energy monitoring, and so much more. So if you would like to hear more about what's relevant specifically to your industry and your manufacturing site, please feel free to reach out to our sales team and we can organize a tailored demo specifically for you. I hope to hear from you soon.